We're well into our third week of excavation at Bamba Castle 2018 uh, and we've got now a very extensive amount of surface revealed. We've known that this pebble uh, structure surface has been down here to be uncovered for a while now. Uh, but we've been uh, basically dealing with the stratigraphy that was overlying it. But this season we've made terrific progress in exposing it and we've got many square metres of it. It's turned out to be a much bigger, more substantial feature than we we're expecting. Um, I still don't know 100% whether we're looking at a, a road surface, I think that's the least likely, a yard, which is perfectly plausible, or whether we're, we're seeing a structural surface associated with a, a building, though I'm assuming a timber building. Uh, we're beneath our 9th century metalworking horizon. Uh, it doesn't look like we're, we're dealing with primarily metalworking here, but we're obviously we're still in the industrial part of the castle. Uh, we've been digging through 8th century deposits. Uh, the surface may be 8th century, but uh, we're publishing an adjacent trench that Brian Hook Taylor dug in the 1960s, and we have a series of carbon dates from the section. This feature appears in that section just in front of me here. Uh, and we have a radiocarbon date of a piece of animal bone from the matrix of the cobbles quite low down, uh, which is 7th century. So we have 7th, 8th century AD. Uh, one of our really good, well datable finds came right off the surface of the cobbles and it was an 8th century bird mount which is currently on display at the castle. So progress is going really well. We've got one side of the feature within the trench which is behind me. Uh, we're looking for uh, the northern boundary. We're probably not going to see uh, the south boundary but we also have a limit of excavation within the Hope Taylor Trench. So we've got at least three sides of this structure. Uh, I think from the Hope Taylor Trench we may be able to find that it doesn't extend all the way to the section. So we might actually be able to reconstruct the, the full outline of this platform stroke surface uh, fairly accurately. So at the moment uh, we're getting to the point where we're going to take some really good photographs. We're planning the surface at the same time. Uh, there's lots of patches and individual little feature, feature elements associated with it. Uh, so I think that some of these are probably going to tell us uh, information regarding its form, its function. So I'm hoping over the next few weeks as we gather all this data together that we'll be able to put together a pretty decent idea of what we're currently uncovering. But at the moment, uh, on a site which is complicated and where actually finding extensive surfaces has often proved to be very difficult, uh, I'm quite reveling in the fact that we've got this major feature that, that extends over a considerable distance. So we're going to enjoy this for the next few weeks.